Hello everyone and welcome back to Placement Buddies. Let me welcome you all to another episode of Let's Hear from the Experienced. And today we have among us Anik, who is going to share his interview experience with Siemens. Hello Anik, uh, welcome to Placement Buddies. Thank you, Dada. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share my experience with your channel. Okay, Anik. So, our audience, tell us about yourself. So, hello everyone. My name is Anik Dotto. I am pers- currently pursuing my bachelor's degree in electronics and instrumentation engineering from National Institute of Technology, Agartala. And currently, I got the offer from Siemens Technology and Services Private Limited in a graduate training engineer role. So, I am looking forward to join this organization. Okay. Okay, Anik. So, uh, as we are talking about Siemens today, so when did Siemens came to your campus and what was the eligibility criteria basically? Okay. So, Siemens Technology came to our campus in the past week of October. And uh, the eligibility criteria for that was uh, at least 60% in 10th, 12th and graduation. And uh, there was no criteria of backlogs for that. And uh, the company was not having any bond also. All right. So uh, what was the selection procedure? Okay. First of all, uh, students have to appear for the online assessment test, which basically com- uh, which is basically composed of the applicable portion as well as technical portion. Right. And it is followed by the personal interview. Uh, personal interview was of two rounds. First one is technical interview and second one is the HR interview. Right. So as you mentioned, there was an online test where students had to go through questions from aptitude as well as technical. So can you just uh, give a breakup of the section aptitude, how many questions came from and what was the time allotted for those? Okay. So the online assessment test was of one hour and 20 minutes. Hmm. Basically, uh, the students have to answer 90 questions in 80 minutes right. and it was composed of four sections. First one was psychometric test. Uh, th- uh, in that portion, uh, the students have to answer 25 questions in five minutes. And after that, the second and third section was quant, uh, verbal and uh, logical. And the last section was technical question in that uh, like students have to answer 25 questions in around 20 minutes. All right. So these are the four sections of uh, online test. All right. So as you mentioned, there was a psychometric test. So what is, can you just elaborate our viewers? What is the psychometric test? How did you take your preparation for attempting the psychometric test? What type of questions were asked in that? Okay. For psychometric test, they basically try to uh, check your patience and how focused you are in that point of time when mm-hmm. you are appearing for the test. So the questions are basically like uh, mirror image, finding the mirror image of an alphabet or a sentence which is given and uh, something like uh, how to, how many eyes are present in this letter okay. or how ma- sorry how many eyes are present in a sentence given so they will be giving options like 20 21 22 23 so carefully you have to uh, uh, count all those alphabets sorry uh, letters from that and uh, take the answer so mm-hmm. as many questions you can attempt in that you will be uh, like uh, high, will be in the higher chance of getting selection Right. So you meant uh, key. it was all about observation skills, keeping your patience and, you know, answering them with proper by watching them properly. Right. Correct. Yes. Okay. So after the psychometric test, what was the next round you mentioned? Okay. So the second section was composed of uh, the verbal and uh, logical questions. Right. So, uh, so in that part, uh, there are some questions related to uh, assertion and reasoning. And some questions related to a paragraph is given. And from that, you have to find out the conclusion for that. Okay. And um, some questions related to the shapes you are given, like three, four shapes are given. And you have to find out the next shape, which is uh, which, which, which will be uh, from the given options uh, they have provided. And these are some of the questions from section two. Hmm. And third section was uh, totally quantitative questions. Okay. So in that portion, uh, they covered the topics like uh, speed, time and distance, time and work, uh, mixture and allegation, mm-hmm. then re- uh, problems related to ages, etc. Okay. And the last section was uh, totally technical and uh, they asked questions from the branch or like uh, department in which uh, you are uh, currently pursuing. Okay. So since you are from instrumentation, what type of questions from instrumentation engineering were asked in the technical section basically? Okay, uh, so in the technical section, uh, the questions were composed of uh, two, three subjects like analog electronics, uh, network theory, hmm. and uh, some questions from industrial instrumentation as well. Okay. And uh, they actually tested the basics of those subjects, not in depth, 
and uh, some of these questions were uh, directly formula based okay. and you just have to uh, memorize the formula and apply it so as you mentioned there was a quantitative section as well as a logical and verbal section so how did you prepare yourself for those particular rounds quantitative logical and verbal okay so for the quantitative uh, logical and verbal that is for whole aptitude section uh, you can find some of the websites like indiabix.com then uh, brainly then uh, some other websites like uh, examweather.com as well okay. so these websites have uh, different uh, questions on different topics so if you practice those questions similar type of questions you will face while you will be appearing for uh, exams in the uh, core jobs right and what about the technical section how did you prepare yourself for that you basically have to be strong in your subjects which you have studied during your uh, curriculum and uh, since you are applying for the core jobs you should be thorough with the core subjects of instrumentation and some some subjects related to electronics as well these questions which were asked for uh, the test uh, were basically they were from uh, analog electronics digital electronics as well as industrial instrumentation so you can follow this channel for uh, that is instrumentation industrial instrumentation playlist uh, for pre preparing for those rounds as well as uh, if you can follow the gate handbook which is uh, like from medis i think right. uh, they provide uh, yes uh, they provide uh, formula based like in compact form okay. all the formulas related to the subject as well as short theories related to that so uh, if you follow those uh, you will definitely you will be able to crack those rounds right anik so glad to know that placement buddies ka jo lectures hai wo like kaam aa raha hai bachcho ke test mein right definitely yeah so after that after the online test was conducted uh, it was the personal interview round right so personal interview round yes. mein as you mentioned the first one was technical and the second one was hr so share your experience about the technical round technical mein kya hua okay so the technical round uh, first it, uh, it started with the with my basic introduction mm -hmm. and uh, they uh, then they started asking questions from the projects and internships i have done during my course curriculum so they ask questions in depth from each and every project okay i have done and basically they want to judge whether i have done it of from my, of my own or uh, i i am just faking in front of them right so uh, they asked every technical aspect related to that uh, projects whichever i have mentioned and uh, some of the questions were from uh, hr uh, hr part only and second round uh, was totally hr round right so as you mentioned that uh, they were asking you from your projects in detail so unko kaise pata chala in projects ke bare mein did you mention it in your resume yes uh, they will thoroughly check what have you written in your resume including the bullet points which you have mentioned okay. and they will try to dig out the uh, concept behind all those bullet points you have mentioned right so that uh, to know if you are actually acquainted with those technical aspects what you have mentioned in your resume okay so if you are mentioning uh, anything in your resume related to the projects you should be definitely thorough with all the things you have mentioned right so it was basically resume based interview where they had to like where they digged out all the technical aspects from your projects training and internships right yes so apart from that uh, they also uh, asked questions from my uh, like uh, from hr part like uh, from the training and placement cell how am i managing the uh, my own studies along with the placement related activities right. and what sort of struggles i have faced and how have i how have i work uh, work on those problems so they were actually ask, asking questions from technical as well as managerial part as well right to check the managerial knowledge of that particular student okay so that was all about the technical or you can say first round right mixed so up, what about the uh, mm -hmm. it was basically mix up of both uh, technical as well as uh, hr questions as well. okay so that was basically all about the first round right so what happened in the next round the final round before your selection okay so the second round was uh, nothing that much uh, tough they asked questions from hr uh, hr portion only like uh, my introduction and whether i am uh, comfortable with the relocation or not hmm. my family background where i am from and and whether i will be able to cope up with the situation of core jobs right. these questions were asked in the uh, second round so it was uh, around uh, 15 to 20 minutes not more than that 
so yes it was sort of easy only okay so anik uh, having said that uh, once you have cracked the interview of siemens so going back to you can say your second year or third year when have you decided that you want to pursue a career in core engineering and what was your preparation road map basically okay so from the beginning of my uh, like after stepping into my engineering and after completion of my first year when i stepped into the department and uh, i always wanted to be a part of a core job only uh, in my future so i used to study the subjects of my curriculum uh, thoroughly uh, accord, uh, along with my academics like uh, whatever the teacher is uh, teaching in the classes and apart from that uh, i tried to make notes of the uh, subjects that are being teached that, that are being taught by the teacher and uh, in third year i came to uh, know about the subjects which are basically important for placements point of view from the seniors Mm-hmm. and uh, started preparing for those subjects like uh, some of the subjects are very helpful for instrumentation engineering students like process control control system and industrial instrumentation so these subjects will definitely help in one or other core companies if a student is aspiring for a course of from instrumentation domain okay. so i started studying about those subjects in depth and uh, also it is important that uh, you should be knowing about the uh practical experience practical aspects of those subjects like uh, in industry how the things are actually going uh, how uh, we are actually implementing those in- instruments in the industry for that you can check uh, some of the interview questions related to those subjects as well uh, in the um, google or uh, like any browser hmm. from that you can have the idea of those subjects and uh, and yeah that's what i did uh, before entering into the placement session All right uh, and guys let me tell you also anik is the current topper of his department and uh, he is the training and placement coordinator as well so anik uh, how do you manage your academics as well as placement related activities placement preparation everything all together any particular tip to our viewers for time management and uh, efficient time management i should say okay <clears throat> so if you are targeting core companies uh, then you can't start preparation from like after entering into the placement set uh, like placement session you should be acquainted with the subjects the basics of the subjects from uh, third year only like mm-hmm. uh, from the end of third year or like that so you can revise those subjects during this placement session mm-hmm. so that uh, it doesn't felt new to you when you will be appearing for the interview mm-hmm. so i kept on revising those subjects and uh, parallelly i Uh, continue i continue doing my placement related activities like helping the students right as well and uh, uh, actively involving in the placement cell uh, towards the uh, growth of the uh, organization uh, sorry for the, towards the growth of the institute and for the placement of uh, to increase the placement uh, percentage of our institute parallelly you have to manage your subjects like uh, if you are doing your task in the day you have to find some time for your own right. to uh, pre- make yourself uh, uh, accustomed with the subject so that you don't uh, forgot those concepts when right. you will be appearing for the interview right and uh, looking back to your interview days if anyone asks you ki why did you choose siemens what is your reason for that like uh, what makes siemens a great place to work according to you okay so siemens as we know that is one of the top multinational company in, across the world and it has its domain in different countries including india as well Right. and it has different businesses like uh, energy mobility uh, as well as health automation so beginning a career as a fresher in such a great organization will definitely be a dream for anyone who is aspiring for a core job exactly so, so i chose to uh, go for siemens uh, when it visited our campus all right so anik uh, wish you all the best for your future endeavors i hope siemens mein jaake you will shine a lot and uh, so before wrapping it up anik uh, any particular tips which you want to give to our juniors who are watching this okay so those who are focused for core companies uh, please try to be uh, thorough with the basics of the subjects in your department and don't lose hope that uh, the others are getting the jobs i am not getting because you have to keep patience for 
core companies which actually visits uh, a little bit late for as compared to the other companies so you should be patient and uh, you, you have to apply your best and the rest is dependent on like your luck as well right. so yeah that's it right so thank you once again anik thank you for joining placement buddies and sharing your interview experience with us we wish you all the best for your future endeavors and uh, thank you once again stay safe thank you thank you so much bye